can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. I'd join a motorcycle gang, if I had any friends. I know you're fine. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old, abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now, I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Not mine. I know you're kind. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again. I swear. You can trust me. I promise. I really get it now. I do. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? God, again? What do you want, kid? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? I don't sleep. It's for the week. <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. like you with pretty pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... 
<laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense! Oh, shit! Hey, Delia, mm -hmm. come! You dog. Follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained to you. Hey, are you selling 20 any- 20 bucks. What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive. Dick. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Okay, good. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. This place is bombed. Okay, good. That right, guy's well, a that dick. I'd love to see his car roll right out from under him. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, no shit. This car could slide down any minute. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained to you. All right, it, it's not going to take any more than an hour to do it. I can't hear. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? Okay, good. That's exactly what we need to do. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna sell out. This place is bombed. Okay, good. Right, well, that would help. Hey, I told you 20 bucks. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Set this up exactly as I've explained it to you. All right, it's not Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for playing, Dick. Oh, yeah! Sweet, sweet victory. That's like 200 bucks. Oh, 
Holy shit. I'm rich. Nothing sadder than a neglected bomb. Don't you judge me, spooky beerhead. I'm here for the ban. Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Yo, Frank! Hey! Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs, you're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Cut. The internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So, where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. Now beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I'll see you later. Whatever. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Sketch Central. Graffiti everywhere. I think they missed... and spin. Three hundred dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled? God, Prescott's a real tool. Sweet dreams, hombre. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh Pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above.
should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> We're not done. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Hey! Dickhead! Sometimes, all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right?
Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl, was that really Rachel Amber? Terrible news, my fellow Oregonians. You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Might have something to do with all the health and safety violations they've suffered this year. Had a near-death experience eating there. Can't leave without my vitamins. Uh, I really should get going. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. That really was Rachel Amber, and she saved my life. How was last night even real? Better living through chemistry. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Literally any amount. We'll take it. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid. But then all the unicorns died. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating?
Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Ugh, I drank way too much last... There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. from when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate he him. He calls me girly. 
He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse, then? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just... grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, What are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? that everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away.
No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. I actually have to let this jack-off drive me to school? This is my life now? Kill me. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electric insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I Please. want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. 
So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Mm-hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use. It's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. But it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. back here. Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. gonna be late. Whatever. You're welcome. Hello, Black Hell.
Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time.